This video will show you how to measure blood pressure. Wash your hands, introduce yourself, and verify your patient. Depending on what the provider requires, place the patient in a relaxed and comfortable sitting or lying position. Make sure all of your medical equipment is cleaned properly. Alcohol swab pads are great for cleaning quickly. Explain the procedure to the patient and make sure that they do not have any other questions. Expose the patient's upper arm well above the elbow, extending the arm with the palm up. Place the cuff above the brachial artery, typically two to three fingers above. Securely fasten the cuff on the patient's arm. Here you can see where the brachial artery is located. The cuff will go right above the antecubital space. Do your best to have your patient's arm at heart level. It is best practice to use palpation to estimate the systolic blood pressure. After you place the cuff on your patient's arm, you will locate the radial artery. Once you locate the radial artery, you will feel the pulse. You will then slowly inflate the cuff until the pulse disappears. Note the reading on the gauge when the pulse disappears, as this is going to be your palpated systolic blood pressure. For example, if the pulse disappeared at 110 on your gauge, then 110 is your palpated systolic blood pressure. Typically, you will then add 30 to that number. So our 110 now is equal to 140. You would strive to inflate the cuff to 140. The bell of the stethoscope should be placed over the brachial artery with a good seal using light pressure. Make sure the valve on the bulb is closed and rapidly inflate the cuff to 30 above the palpated systolic pressure. Open the valve, slowly deflating the cuff. Note the reading at which you hear the systolic pressure. The first noise that you hear typically is the systolic pressure. Allow the pressure to lower steadily until you note a change in sound to a softer, more muffled sound. Note this is diastolic pressure. Continue to release pressure until all sound disappears. Note this point as diastolic pressure. The last sound is the diastolic pressure. If the palpated pulse was 150, you would go ahead and inflate up to 180. Next, you would slowly deflate and listen for the first bump. It appears that the first bump occurred at 160. What this means is that this patient's systolic number is 160. You will then listen for the muffled sounds of bumps and see when the last one occurs. For this example, it's at 90. Once you have your reading, it is best practice to deflate and begin to take the cuff off the patient's arm. Carefully remove the cuff and ensure to clean all of your medical equipment. Document in the patient's chart and wash your hands.